the kingdom of the sun is Leo. We are now in the sign of Leo, opposite Aquarius. Aquarius is ruled by Set, Saturn, and Uranus. Leo is ruled by Horus, the sun. We are now in the territory, every 25,000 years, Horus and Set face each other. And we're in this now. Hence, when Jesus says, when I come into my kingdom, I will separate the sheep from the goats. The sheep to everlasting life, because this is where life happens. And the goats to everlasting damnation, because this is the earth. This is, this is the, the skeletons, the bone. This is the spirit. This is the highest spirit, the cerebrum. The cerebrospinal system is the most, it leads the body. It leads the bones of Saturn, the goats. So when the sun, the king, when the king, the sun, is born on the 25th of December in the sign of the goat, he is the carpenter. And he has to climb in his temple. And so this is cosine. This actually... Yeah, this is cosine here. This is sine, sine wave. This is cosine. Two starting points. All Gospels start in these two signs. There's no other signs. Just Aries and the goat. Because this is the starting point of the sun's journey for this half of climbing, of waxing. And then, of course, this is the negative <coughs> cycle. So this is a starting point here. And this is the start of the northern, bright, positive, summer, daytime here, hence here is also the start. This is our cross that we bear, friends, the king and the priest. And our job is to keep that job and have no intercessor. When a guru comes along and says, let me be your guru, or let me be your priest, come to this church, that's the time to run away. <laughs> run for the hills, brothers, because you will be deceived. They have no truth that is not in your heart. Unless they can pull the truth from the deep well of the truths in your heart, forget it. Hey, please, if you can, have a look at uh, Primafields on YouTube. All right? This will help, under, help you understand many things. Notice this man has two bowls, red and blue. In the middle, he has found zero point. Those steel balls are floating in mid-space. Red, positive electricity. Blue, feminine, negative electricity. And there is magnetism, zero point. The cause of that and this. There it is in the laboratory. All tested. All proven. Here is how David Lapointe explains this light. Two lights that come from one. One is red, one is blue. Here are the two torus fields. One is positive, one is negative, and they all are centered by magnetic light. Here is how Walter Russell explains it. Johann also explained this beautifully. Centrifugal and centripetal forces. You see Mars and Venus? This is how, at the, at the moment that Mars does something with his radiating force or compressing force, doesn't matter because they're one and the same thing, Eve, Venus, is destroying that work. Or Saturn is destroying the work of the Sun. The Sun is compressing and composing and Saturn is destroying what the Sun does. They have to, otherwise there's no motion. If there was only positive electricity, it would exhaust itself. It would build everything and there would be no space. Because everything will be built and material and no space to, for movement. So Saturn has to destroy. Radiation has to destroy what is composed. Here are galaxies working on the same principle. Central sun. Here is a great central sun. You have the same in your heart. You have a galaxy in your heart. We are a galaxy. 
Here is how galaxies are made. There's our Milky Way galaxies. It has a central sun and it has positive and negative. There is, there is red, there is blue, fire, water, earth and air. Blue is ma marine. Yin and yang, same thing here. Same thing in many flags. I could pick the hot, the Dutch flag, red, white and blue. White is the causal, still undivided light. Blue is feminine, red is masculine. And this is the Union Jack. Jack is Jacob, Jacob is Bacchus, Bacchus is the sun. Union is here in the equinox. These are the solstices. Winter, summer. And that's the Union Jack. The uniting of Jacob, the sun. Again, red, white and blue. Alright, I'm exhausted here with this one. Uh, I've exhausted this um, presentation. I want to jump onto another one now. Um, but here is the ancient science. You see Aries at the head. Because we have to now place the body in here. We've done, we've done the day cycle. We've done the year cycle. Now we put the temple of man, as um, Johan so well did. And here are all the signs. You see, this is a very ancient graph showing that this knowledge was always known. There was never a time when it was not known. And here is the symbol. The, um, the symbols inside the sine wave. See the sine wave? The serpent? That's the serpent. There's always one serpent. Electricity in the Garden of Eden. Good and evil. Of course the serpent's going to be good and evil. The sine wave, vibration. Up is good, down is evil. That's the sine wave. Here is our descent from the Imperium. These are ten concentric circles. Above you have the Primum Mobile, the Crystalline Sea, the Fixed Heavens, and then Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, Moon, Earth. And these are the ten concentric rings. And this is exactly how the Temple of Man is. Here it is. You see Aries again, Taurus, Gemini, corresponding with all the parts of the body, as above, so below. And you see all the colours, the 12 colours. You see the sacred geometry in here. And numerology is in here too. Aries is one. That's why Aries says, I am. One, a dot, is atum. See? When you do syncretism properly, <coughs> and you are able to cross disciplines, you see, a lot of people, left brain people, they see my presentations, and for like 10 minutes, and I've gone from astrology to astrotheology to chemistry, and that's it. They turn it off. Oh, I'm, con I'm confused. In fact, I had, I had the world's, I had the world's leading trivium experts, because trivium is basically just left brain crap. Quadrivium is in here. The world, I won't mention his name because I don't want to embarrass the idiot. But um, an astrotheologer in America gave him one of my videos, poorly translated, and he wrote back, oh, Santos needs to study the trivium. <laughs> yeah, like a three-year-old kid. Um, and he's jumping from subject to subject because they're, they're experts in one thing. They don't know alchemy. They don't know theology. They don't know music. Music is quadrivium. I've been a musician since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. Music, astronomy, watching the stars with telescopes as a little boy. Geography, mathematics, numbers, you know. They're not in the quadrivium, they're not here. They're disconnected from cause. They're over here, they're experts on the trivium, you know. Logic, logic thinking, all that crap stuff that all the great thinkers do and oh yeah they they think about how to cause wars and how to uh, keep half of mankind starving and how to persecute animals in laboratories all these left brain scientists injecting them with poo so that they can torment animals so we can have better perfumes that stink anyway you know those perfumes that stink and give you a headache it's because of the tortured animals oh they're all clever they've all studied the trivium <coughs> Um, you know, but um, nonetheless, the trivium is necessary if you're a child, but it is necessary, but if you're a child. But um, here, is, here you see there's a dot, and there you see there's, there's a line, that's 180 degrees, in Taurus. And there you see 
a triangle in Gemini and VC squared in Cancer. Well, that's an atom, folks. <clears throat> How much time we got till the break? Five, five to ten minutes, actually. Oh, really? Five or ten minutes we have a break. So, all you people who are uh, fainting with uh, <laughs> boredom and tiredness, <laughs> break time is coming. Um, so, so I put a dot here, I put a line there, I put a triangle here, and a square there. You see that? And then, of course, here you have the pentagram, and then you have the hex. Oh, I did another <laughs> pentagram, didn't I? How do you do a hex? Dun, 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 dun. That'll do. <laughs> anyway, and then seven, so on and so forth, okay? This is 360 degrees. This is atom. Remember who was else was here? Yeah. It's Adam, because Adam is indivisible, it's masculine. All masculine numbers are odd. Add. All feminine numbers are Eve. Even. Odd and even. Atom and Eve. Adam and Eve. It's numerology. It's, it's physics. It's alchemy. All you've got to do is cross your disciplines. And so, and so this is why in the Garden of Eden, because this is the Garden of Eden, this is outside of the Garden of Eden. See, over here we have Adam, the red planet Mars, Adam being red, is the ruler of Aries and Venus is the ruler. Eve is the ruler of Taurus. But Eve is also, remember we said she's the ruler of Libra and Mars is the ruler of Scorpio. You see, always opposite each other and always opposite each other in... This is Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. This is Adam and Eve outside of the Garden of Eden once they tasted from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And then God says, oh, shame on you. Now I'm going to have to build clothes, make clothes for you so you don't freeze. And he said, and you will go outside of the Garden of Eden. You'll be thrown outside and there you will work the ground with the sweat of your brow and the ground will produce thistles. Yes, because winter is thistly. There's no beautiful apples. Apples are finished here. Remember, in England they say, after the 21st of September, don't eat blackberries. Because that's... Uh, sorry, the 21st of September. Yeah, that's the, that's the end of the harvest season of Virgo, the virgin. How dare we offend her by eating blackberries on the 22nd? You see, I learnt this when I was in England, they told me. That was the cut-off date. <clears throat> so, and that's why, you see, the Bible says that when, or people say that ever since God created even there has been, Eve, there has been division. Yeah, because even numbers divide. Can you divide one? No. It's masculine, indivisible. Two? Yes, you can. Straight down the middle. Three? Divide that. Can do. Four? Etc, etc. Hence, even numbers divide. Eve will always divide. 